hello there welcome back to the new video today i'll be talking about graph gpt yesterday while i was scrolling my linkedin i found like a lot of people have been talking about graph gpt and there's a lot of interest that people are showing so i thought of giving it a shot and explain it to you guys how it works under the hood by going through its official repository that's maintained by varun shinoi so yeah so the main idea that graph gpt brings onto the table is to essentially convert natural language into knowledge graphs wherein you just simply need to pass in your unstructured natural language of any sort and you'll get a knowledge graph out of it. Now that text could be your favorite movie text, it could be a Wikipedia page, transcript coming out of a video, and all of which essentially boils down to coming out as knowledge graph, which means you have a triple getting generated, you have a head node, you have a relation, and you have an object. Of which then you can use this output to build a question answering system on top of it. So if you see the demo to how it exactly works, you start off by giving in your sentence, let's say Newman is Jerry's enemy. He lives in the same building as Jerry and Kramer. Now you generate the knowledge graph. It would take roughly around 20 seconds is what they say because of the internet speed and time it takes to compute out of the GPT-3. And finally, you have a graph coming out with friend and neighbor and enemies as relations and all the people as the entities of the nodes. So yeah, that's very powerful actually. And one of the very good use cases that I can think out of the box is like you're given a resume, you generate a knowledge graph for that resume where you have like a person, he has his name as XYZ, his skills are these, his experience is this. And now you can have a question answer and system built on resumes where you can query things about a person and you get relevant answers instead of just scrambling thousands of resumes through your naked eye. So cool with that motivation, let's now delve into seeing how it's actually happening so we go to the source oops what is it like okay let me refresh yeah so so this is the application that's there where you know define your open ai key the default params then you define certain optional parameters like what should be the colors of the edges whether this is hierarchical or not so on and so forth and finally on the button click where is it when you click on the button generate it calls create graph method and then create graph is nothing but it takes in the value that's there in the search bar which is your natural language text and passes that to query prompt function now what query prompt does is it picks up main.prompt file we'll get to that in a minute reads it changes the parameters to whatever are defined in that and calls a post request to gpt3 completions api and whatever output you get you can display it as part of the graph so yeah so the main crux now here is what is that from that is essentially letting us generate so amazing knowledge graphs so we go to the public we see prompts it was main about prompt so yeah this is the main heart of the code so this is the prompt that essentially is fired with this as the prefix where you set the context then you give in certain examples and finally the model is expected to output something that looks like this where you have how many nodes are there then a data structure that has key as graph how many nodes are there and it's from and to connections along with the label and the color it should hold so for example if the input was alice is bob's roommate make her node green so now you think of like alice and bob to be one node the relation should be roommate and the node for alice should be green right so that's what is there like the label for the first node is bob the color is not green the label for the second node is Alice and the color is green. I hope this is green. I haven't checked it. Then the edges from one to two, which is from Bob to Alice and the label is roommate. So that's how we given certain input. So let's go through this entire prompt once. It says you are given the current state of a graph and a prompt. Okay. Extrapolate as many relationships as you can from the prompt and update the state. Every node has an ID label and color, which has to be in hex. Every edge has a to and a from from node IDs and label. Edges are directed, so the order of the from and to is important. Okay, so you, you kind of tell GPT-3 to what exactly are we expecting and what exactly it's going to get as an input and what are the things that it should take care about while generating the output, which is like things have to be ordered. So you need to follow the to and from relations very strictly. And there will also be things like ID, label, and color associated with each node. So yeah, with this, the model essentially gets to a narrower space where it understands what it wants to do. Then comes the task of saying, okay, if this is the current state of mine where I start, 
and this is the prompt that I'm talking about. Then these are the additions that you would like model to do, which is add an edge, add an extra node, set the color and so on and so forth. So similarly now for any newer prompt that you want to work on or any new text that you want to convert into knowledge graph, these are the variables that are set from that app.js script state and the prompt and the new state is basically a newer version of the current state with newer edges, newer properties of the nodes and how they're connected. So that's pretty much, I guess, to this library and how it works. And I hope that this was a useful video for you. So yeah. And, and yeah, the final stuff, like the major issue is the latency because we are essentially making a HTTP call to the GP3 API and it will take its sweet time to process this information added by some latency in the networks. So yeah, that's what they have written and on benchmarking, they found it to be roughly 20 seconds to receive a response. Cool. So Varun also uh, released its UI version where users can play around. So you can type in your graph. You have to enter your API key and click on generate to see the magic. Cool. So if you're new to this content, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, let me know in the comments if you are interested in seeing such videos. I'll meet you in the next one. Bye-bye and take care.